Hi, friends, it's Veronica Vax, naturopathic physician, happily retire. We will continue our education on the health of digestive tract, and the liver is the topic of today. One of my subscribers asked, are there any herb that will, herbs that will help to treat actually liver diseases? Not functional disorder, but diseases. The answer is yes. Let's talk about those herbs, uh, when to start, uh, what diseases could be treated, treated and planned. Here is the few of the diseases that you can see here. On the next slide, here is a long list of the diseases such as alcoholic, alcoholic abuse, chemicals and drugs, hepatitis, BCDNK, hemochromatosis, cystic fibrosis, even mono. Diseases when the damage to the individual cells of the liver is done. And here is on the left, you can see the list of herbs that I used in my practice. And um, it's worked very well for my patients in oncology settings. And the reason for that, uh, I, I have this list is because what patients received chemo treatment. In chemo treatment, chemo means to kill. So chemo will kill non-discreptantly, it will kill cancer cells, but it also will kill other cells in, in different organs of the body and will kill liver cells. When liver cells get damaged, then you have fewer cells to deal with the chemical to do the detox. As a result, more damage happened to the liver. As a result, due to this damage, liver function enzyme, ALT and AST will go high. As they will start to climb and at certain point, the chemo treatment have to be stopped. Otherwise, patients will die. So um, chemo treatment staff stopped, a patient and a physician extremely unhappy because the goal is to deal with the cancer. And patient, patients moved in, in, into my office to do treatment for the liver and other you know, the digestive tract, all, all this damage. So herbs, milk to soul, milk to soul, and milk to soul. Then, then turmeric, melatonin, artichoke, and fish oil. Here was actually the actual question from the subscriber. How to regenerate the liver? And, and can you improve liver congestion? This is the progression of the disease. This is the healthy liver. Then you have a fatty liver, then liver fibrosis and liver cirrhosis. And clinical symptoms that comes with um, liver fibrosis, spider angioma, uh, ascites and dilated uh, vessels right here. Milk to soul, those are heads of milk to soul. And I'm sure some of you know that when, when, we, when we, we young, young, we pick them up and throw into our friends and they just get stuck there because they have spikes. There is a lot of research on the topic of milk to soul. Let's go and look at some of that. The active ingredient, ingredient in milk to soul called silymarine. And this one out of many articles on PubMed on milk to soul. And we are going to pharmacodynamics. Uh, pharmacodynamics means that uh, what the effect it will have on, uh, on the liver, particularly in this case. And the answer is silymarine protects liver cells by number of mechanisms. First, stabilize membrane permeability through inhibition of, liver, uh, of lipid peroxidation, minimizing level of its own protective antioxidants. So it's reserves glutathione. It also protects against the injury, injuries from various toxins, such as carbon tetrachloride is a common chemical that very aggressive damages uh, liver. The next inhibits production of tumor necrotic factor. Tumor necrotic factor is a, a inflammatory substance that made our, uh, by our own body when there is a, <clears throat> it's responsible for cell proliferation and apoptosis. And when the tumor starts to grow, it's growing fast and reproducing, and it's producing tumor necrotic factor, sending a signal that it needs more blood vessels to grow here into the tumor. And the, uh, it's redirects small blood vessels growing right here because tumor needs um, a lot of blood supply. It needs oxygen, it needs vitamins, minerals, and it needs sugar to grow because tumor is fast growing substance. So the tumor necrotic factor is now targeted by some drugs and in this case, you can see that it in, that silymarine inhibits tumor necrotic factor. It also inhibits interferon gamma, inter, uh, inflammatory interleukins. So, and you read through that, it's basically anti-inflammatory and uh, anti-fibrotic effect. The next herb is turmeric. 
very popular, no need to elaborate on that. People know uh, about these herbs. The next is melatonin. It's a sleep hormone used very widely in oncological setting. And I use between 10, 15, and even 20 milligrams uh, if, uh, per, per day because it is the strongest, strongest antioxidant. It's 10 times stronger than vitamin C, artichoke. During the summer, please, when it's available, eat it. Um, I will show you a research article that it um, uh, acts on the liver and protects the liver. Artichoke leaf extract is used in this research. You can read this article. It's compared to different substances such as uh, olive oil. And um, as you scroll down, you will go to conclusion and you will see that is actually um, <clears throat> reduces lipid peroxidation, the same as silymarine provides antioxidant, antioxidants and decreases damage to DNA from um, uh, damaging uh, chemicals, exactly what we want. The next item is omega-3. Um, if you listen to, if you subscribe to my channel, you know that omega-3 has two anti-inflammatory effects. Number one is it's increased level of uh, prostaglandins, which are anti-inflammatory. And the second is it stabilized cellular membrane. So the cell is made out of fat and it's omega-3, 6, and 9. And when we don't eat fish, so the cell membrane is built out of three, uh, excuse me, six and nine. As a result, it's not um, very stable. It's um, what I call jiggy wiggy. As a result, that instability have to be fixed by our body. And body will start to produce cholesterol to stabilize the membrane. Cholesterol will get deposited in, in the cells and that's the uh, point of inflammation. So what you want to do, you want, you want to stabilize cells by increased level of omega-3. Stabilization cell of the cell membrane means that less inflammation. And that's exactly what I want in, um, and it's basically, it's a long-term effect uh, anti-inflammatory effect of fish oil. Now, I want to say, guys, that in the link below, I post a links to a supplements that I, I showed in this video. And um, I choose um, the best and the cheapest uh, from Amazon. So, um, but um, I understand some of the people could be financially uh, stressed um, if you have to choose only one supplement, supplement, and the one supplement is going to be silymarine or milk to salt, uh, fish oil also. If you can afford to eat fish, it would be better, be, better or will be okay too. Um, fish oil supplement is not the cheapest one. It's from Nordic Natural, and the reason it's so expensive is because it's extremely clear, cl extremely clean, clean, and it's tested by independently for heavy metal toxicity. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Like, subscribe, stay healthy. Bye-bye for now.